I'm recording. Um, all right, so what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to write a program that solves a quadratic formula. So we, this is actually pretty easy. Um, first thing you want to do is hit program on your calculator. I'm trying to find my remote. And then choose TI Basic. I'll, I'll make another video on how to do the Python uh, app, but we're just going to do basic today. And so um, there's three options here. I can execute. That just is a fancy term that means run a program. I can edit a program, uh, but we're going to create a new one. So select create new. Uh, when you see this little A flashing, that means it's in alpha mode. The letters are actually these buttons. In other words, this is A. How do I know it's A? See that A there? A. See how that says B? And this is C, D, E, F. G, H, I, so on and so forth. So I'm going to call this quad form. So I'm going to say Q, U, A, D, um, F, O, R, M. And then hit enter. And notice that we're writing the program quad form. That's short for quadratic formula. Uh, next, I got to start putting in some commands. So at this point, when you hit program button, it'll give you a list of different commands. So we're going to do an input um, prompt. Now, when I hit enter, if I put um, alpha A comma alpha B comma C, then the calculator is going to prompt me to put in an input value for A, and it's going to prompt me for an input value for B, then an input value for C. Then from that point, I'm just going to let, once the values for A, B, and C are plugged into the calculator, uh, I'm going to have it just do the math. So from here, I'm just going to put in some math. Remember that the quadratic formula is negative B plus, and remember it's plus or minus, but i got to do it separately. Oh, shoot. I do that every time. So I accidentally hit the wrong button, so now we get to learn how to edit it. So I'm going to put in uh, program. And I'm going to come back here, and I'm going to select Edit. Now I'm back into the editing mode. I hit the wrong button. So I hit second square root. Um, remember that it's B squared. So if you have an older calculator, you'll have to hit the caret symbol, raised to the second power, minus 4AC. Now that's the square root. So close the parentheses on that, and then close the parentheses on the numerator divided by parentheses 2 times A, close the parentheses, and we want to store this, so I'm going to store that to the variable U. And then we just leave it like that, hit enter. Now we do the exact same thing, except and say, instead of saying plus the square root of all this stuff, I'm going to say minus the square root of all this stuff. Oops. Um, square root of B, and if you have a newer calculator, you could just hit the square button. Either way will work. 4 times A um, times C, close off the square root, close off the numerator, divided by um, 2 times A, close off the parentheses. And this one I'm going to store in V. If you look up this uh, program online, um, they use XY. I don't like to use XY because I use the X values and the Y values for graphing, and I don't want that in there. So, um, so now the next step is what 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 I'm telling the calculator to do is I'm going to plug in A, B, and C. Then the calculator is going to do some math and get a value and spit it into U. So U's value will become this calculated value. And V will be the same thing, except one we're taking and adding the square root, and then the other one we're subtracting the square root. Now, lastly, I want to put that information. The calculator does the math, but I want to see it, so I hit Program, go to the Input-Output menu, and I want to hit Display. Now, Display will show you certain things. I'm going to say parentheses, or not parentheses, quotes, then when I put the quotes, whatever I put in quotes, it displays that text. So I'm going to say um, roots, oops, I got to hit alpha to get the letters, right? Alpha O, alpha O, alpha 
T alpha S. And then I'm going to close the quotes. And then I'm going to put a comma. And then I'm going to put alpha U alpha feet. Whoops, i got to put a comma between those. Otherwise, I'm in big trouble. Um, and then that's basically it. And the comma is kind of like a return. So if I'm done, I go second quit. And let me clear the screen here. Now I should have the program. Let's run it and see what we get. So um, if I hit program and then I choose execute, this will run the program. Quad form. We plug in a number for A. We plug in a number for B. Plug in a number for C. Let's make that negative. I want to make sure negative 2. And now when I hit enter, it tells me my roots. My two um, roots for that are going to be um, 0.5 and negative 2. Okay. Now, there's one other thing. I want to. I kind of went over it quickly. I want to edit it. So if I edit this, I'm going to select TI Basic, and then I go to Edit. Make sure number 1 is, op is the option selected. I'm going to hit second delete and hit enter. And so what I want to do is I want to hit program again, go to input output menu, and I'm going to hit display. And I want to remind myself this thing only works if I put it in standard form. So I'm going to say um, as a reminder the word standard form. So I'm going to say alpha or I'll say um, Let's do from standard form. So I'm going to say alpha, um, F, alpha R, alpha O, alpha M. Then the space is down here, alpha space, and then alpha S, alpha T, alpha A, alpha N, alpha D, alpha A, alpha R, alpha d standard and let's do one more alpha form so i'm going to say alpha f alpha o alpha r and then alpha m close my quotes and um that's it so now if i hit second quit and i run the program it'll say from standard form now remember standard form is ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero so I put that in there so I would remember that I'm getting the A, B, and C from standard form, okay? And um, so what I'm saying is when I plug in 2 here and I plug in a 3 here and I plug in a negative 2 here, we're really finding the roots or where it crosses the x-axis. Now here's how I could double-check my work. If I go to y equals, I said the A, the first term, x squared, plus b, which we said was 3, times x, and then we said minus 2. If I graph this, notice that it crosses at 0.5 and negative 2, right? In other words, if I hit trace and I say 0.5, y equals 0, and then if I put in negative 2, y equals 0. So that's how we know that it works, okay? And that's um, it on that one.